सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द अनदर वीडियो पता है आप लोग सोच रहे हैं कि मैंने तो इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब किया ही नहीं था फिर भी मैं यहाँ कैसे पहुंच गया तो हाँ दोस्तों ये वही गेमिंग चैनल है जिसे आप लोग हाइड्रिक गेमर्स के नाम से जानते थे मैंने बस इसका नाम चेंज कर दिया है क्योंकि अब से इस चैनल पे मजेदार एथिकल हैकिंग से रिलेटेड वीडियो आएंगी चलो यार बिना किसी देरी के वीडियो को स्टार्ट करते हैं सो टू बाईपास एस एस एल पिनिंग ऑन वर्चुअल एंड्रॉइड डिवाइस फर्स्ट Open command prompt on your computer and run the command adb root to root your virtual device. As you can see, my virtual device is already rooted. Next, you need to install Frida server on your PC by running the command shown on the screen in either PowerShell or command prompt. Since I already have it installed, I'll skip this step. Now, let's install Frida server on the virtual Android device. Before doing that, it's important to know your device's architecture. To check the architecture, run the command shown on screen. As you can see, this is the architecture of my device, so I'll download the Frida server that matches it. Go to the link in the description and download the Frida server according to your device's architecture. Make sure that the Frida version on your PC and your Android device are exactly the same. After downloading the Frida server file, extract it. Then rename the Frida server binary file to make it easier to run. Open PowerShell or command prompt in the folder where your Frida server file is located. Use the command on screen to push the Frida server file to your Android device. I've already done this, so I'm not repeating it to avoid any possible errors. Now, let's run the Frida server on the Android device using the given command. The Frida server is now running on the virtual device. Now open a new command prompt window. Open the app on your virtual device where you want to bypass SSL pinning. As you can see, I'm getting a network error right now because of SSL pinning. To fix this, run the command shown on screen and enter the package name of the app. You'll get a four or six digit code called the PID. Next, run the command shown on screen and replace PID with the number you just got. To bypass SSL pinning, you must have a specific JavaScript file. You can find the download link for that JavaScript file in the description, along with all the commands used in this video. Once you run Frida with that JavaScript file, it will hook into the app and SSL pinning will be bypassed. Now you can capture all the app's network requests easily using Burp Suite. If this video helped you, don't forget to like it. That's it for today's video. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.